When there's a break in the diarrhea and the vomiting, cries of anguish from the young patients who actually need something very simple to save their lives. A fluid that rehydrates your body, and that's what people are dying of. It's estimated 99% who make it to a clinic survive in Haiti. Getting there is not easy. Cuidado, cuidado. If possible at all for so many. People have to pay before they can even get treated. And you can't get treated if there's no place for you to go because it's so far away. And if Haitians do get to a clinic, it often looks like this. The fluids are saving their lives. A simple thing like a bag of fluid. Brooke Bratzman's Go Ministries has spent more than 20 years in Haiti. The organization quickly realized that along with the cholera, darkness was deadly. And people were dying in the night because it's just too difficult to take care of people in the dark. So we bought generators. We agreed to pay $150 a day uh, just to fund the fuel to run that generator. We and often there are no cots, a shortage of help, and little hope. You know, now I fear that the cholera epidemic will actually take more lives than the earthquake did. Since the cholera outbreak hit in mid-October, more than 3,000 Haitians have died. The healthy, once again, find themselves attending funerals one year after the earthquake. Massive quantities of medicine delivered by national organizations doesn't necessarily mean the goods reach remote locations. And when they do, it might end up in a place like this. This was a mess before. It has gotten cleaned up a whole bunch. Last March, we showed you John Martinez of Louisville working with the children in Haiti for Go Ministries. He lives there and witnesses daily the lack of resources and education that can be deadly. He crossed three rivers on the way back home. Every one of those rivers, there were Haitians drinking water out of the river with their hands. Many Haitians believe hand washing wastes a precious commodity. Why not wash your hands? You know, that sounds silly. It doesn't seem like that should be an issue. Well, the reality is, is that in some areas of Haiti, water is hard to come by. Go ministry workers have seen more than their share of death and destruction in Haiti, and it takes a toll. But they're committed to helping the natives get past this latest tragedy, too. And the love that we're a part of is worth it and makes it worth it.